What is the risk of pregnancy from rubbing precum on the clothes? Hello, and welcome to today's topic. We're going to be discussing a question that often creates confusion. What is the risk of pregnancy from rubbing precum on clothes? There are a lot of myths and misconceptions about this topic, so we're going to break it down and discuss what the real risks are based on scientific understanding. What is precum? Before we dive into the main question, let's understand what precum is. Precum, or pre-ejaculate, is a fluid that typically seeps out of the penis before ejaculation. It is produced by the cowper's glands and can contain sperm, although usually in much lower quantities compared to the ejaculate itself. Can precum cause pregnancy? It's important to note that while there is a lower concentration of sperm in precum, the possibility of pregnancy from precum is not zero. This is especially true in situations where the precum comes into direct contact with the vagina, such as during unprotected sex. What about precum on clothes? The risk of pregnancy from rubbing precum on clothes, however, is extremely low. Sperm are fragile and require specific conditions to survive and travel. They cannot easily travel through clothing to reach the vagina. Moreover, the exposure to air, as well as the fabric of the clothes, can cause the sperm to die off rather quickly. Therefore, the risk of pregnancy in this scenario is practically negligible. When should you worry? Despite the very low risk in the scenario we've discussed, it's still crucial to remember that any direct contact between precum or semen and the vagina can result in pregnancy. Unprotected sex or even contact with precum or semen on the fingers can lead to a significantly higher risk of pregnancy than the situation with clothes. So, in conclusion, the risk of pregnancy from rubbing precum on clothes is incredibly low. However, it's always important to practice safe sex and use reliable methods of contraception to prevent unintended pregnancies. Remember, when it comes to your sexual health, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Thanks for tuning in today, and we hope this video has been helpful in clearing up this common question.